If you want to hear the latest update on my Partners in Cream project, then stick around. Hi there, it's Hélène from HMM Makeup, aka mm, Makeup. I am so glad you joined me today for the Partners in Cream project update. And this project is the brainchild of Steph Lyons and Dalin, aka Outward Processing. So I'll have their pictures and their channels linked for you right there. And essentially it is a project where we get to use up anything that is cream based in our makeup collection that maybe we're not paying enough attention to and this project is helping us focus. So I would love to tell you what I have been focusing on and I want to go from least progress to greatest progress. And speaking of progress, I will have on the screen here where you can see the progress pictures if it is your preference to skip right to that point. Okay, I think you have the background and let's just talk about progress. I'm trying to be careful here. The one I have the least amount of progress because I've used once this period is the NARS Dolce Vita Liquid Blush. And I didn't even want to shake it, it separated because I just have been completely ignoring it. But it's for good reason, I ended up focusing on the other blush in this project and I have a whole lot more um, progress. So this one is down 0 0.03 grams. It is paltry, paltry progress. Anyway, something gets, something gives, right? So 0.03 grams on that one. Now for the one that I have been using, which is the Joe Fresh Peach Dream Blush, which is kind of a dupe for the NARS Orgasm Blush. And this one, I ended up going down 0.26. And that is the best progress that I have had ever. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so the best progress I've ever had on this. So I was using it almost every day and you'll see that it is definitely not <laughs> flush with the top. Um, and it is, it's a very nice cream uh, blush. Hopefully you can see the color. Do you see how it looks like the NARS Orgasm if you're familiar with, with that blush? It's very, very similar. Kind of a goldy peachy tone. I really like it. I'm thoroughly enjoying it and wearing it a lot. Obviously, if I go down that much, I think it was 0.26, yeah, 0.26, I'm, I'm really impressed, so happy about that. Now I did go down a tiny bit in this Tartiste Pro Glow. I went down 0.21 of a gram. And right now um, in here, I don't have any cream products, but I do still have some highlighters. The cream product that was in this palette, I actually moved over. So if there's any uh, reduction in weight for this palette, I still count it, but it's not cream uh, product related. So 21 grams, 0.21 grams down on this one. And now back to cream products. The Complexionista is the next one down and I believe I'm down 0.22 uh, grams in this palette. And what I have been focusing on is this one right here, which is the Boeing Industrial Number no. 1. And it is uh, the one I use for my under eye concealing. So I'm not using a whole lot at a time, but it does certainly come in handy. And so I've just decided to continue using it, even though um, I do like to use this palette for travel. I don't see myself traveling anytime soon, and it is a cream product. So I'm now using it, um, well, on the daily. So I'm going to continue, continue to make progress, obviously, on this one. And now you know that I saved the best for last, which is the Cover FX Quad. And this quad is the one that I reach for every single day that I put makeup on. And it looks like this. And I'm very happy to be using it up because I was really worried that I was getting old. It was like, uh, it's three years old at this point. And you'll see a few things have changed. So first off, I had this pan empty and then I had this contour cream from the Tartiste Pro Glow that I had transferred into this palette. 
but I had it in these two pens because it didn't fit. Well, I used enough of it on a daily basis that I was able to combine then what I had put in this pan into this pan, and so I only have the one pan of contour cream, and I'm happy about that. I use it, like I said, on the daily, on my forehead, and uh, in the um, hollow of my cheek, sometimes a little bit around my nose and under my lip if I'm trying to enhance my lip, um, lower lip for whatever effect. And so I'm pretty happy about that. And you can see that I'm, this is kind of where my finger tends to go every day. I really, really like that contour cream. I just did not like it in the Pro Glow because the highlighter powder was getting into it. And now it's in a quad that is only with a cream highlighter. So there's no cross contamination unless I am sloppy with it. Now, I had a prediction for this highlighter and it did not come true. I thought I was going to hit pan on it. I have been using it virtually daily and I obviously have a lot more work to do. It is the Moonlight or Moonstone, Moonstone, Moonlight um, highlighter from, I should know this by now, right? <laughs> the Moonlight uh, highlighter from Cover FX. And I really, really do like it. I just put it on the high point of my uh, cheekbones, really like it. And I do sometimes use it as well as a brow bone highlighter. Uh, once in a while, bridged my nose and Cupid's bow. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. But as you would know, uh, if you do use cream highlighters, a little goes an extremely long way. So I am not actually going to say that I'm gonna hit pan next period, nor am I going to say that I'm going to hit pan by the end of the year because I'm losing faith in the ability to use that much highlighter in the time that is left. What I will say though is that I will diligently continue to use these two products and I think that as far as pans go that I have certainly made some very satisfactory progress uh, this period, which has resulted in a one point seven seven gram difference for this palette it is amazing it is the most progress i think i've done ever so let me confirm this for a second so i had just just to give you a sense last month i was down 2.01 grams and i was ecstatic this month i am down a total of 2.49 grams two and a half grams done and I did my math twice to make sure that I could actually boast 2.5 grams. It is a lot of product in one month and I'm really, really happy. And again, I've just really been focusing on these products. This is the panning project where I am the most disciplined and probably because I really like the products that I'm panning and nothing, and it's, it's, it's part of my routine. So I'm not introducing a bunch of new products uh, every time we do an update. And so it's just part of my routine. And that is wonderful for, um, it, for increased diligence in panning virtual, virtually any product. And as I look through all the previous months, 2.49 is the most that I have done in one month. The, uh, Second best value is 2.12, which was way back uh, in the first update. And that was 2.12, and we have 2.49 this time. I am very curious to know what kind of progress I can make over the next month, and I really hope that I can bring you another juicy update as Steph would say, juicy pan, juicy update. Now enough about me gushing. <laughs> Let's take a look at the progress pictures and then we'll wrap it up at the end.
So that's it, 2.49 grams down, a product I love and I have no problem using and I cannot wait to update you one last time for 2020. Let me know what you think of the updates, let me know what you think of the progress in general, I would love to hear what you have to say. Are you doing this project? If so, how is it going? I would love to hear from you. And with that, I will say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it every single time, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care.